Darren, you purchased this TX from CMZ. What was the reasons behind it? Well, with all of the CMZ purchases that were done at the same time, which was July 2018, with them being installed in January 2019, we needed to replace our, our older lathes. I'd seen these at Mac probably around 2012. I was really impressed with how quiet they were for a start. They looked good. Everything seemed to be in the right place, so to speak. So I kind of knew that when I was going to get around to replacing the lathes I had, these would be on the table to look at. And then through further investigation, I went out to Spain to see actually how they're made in person. They're extremely well built, extremely rugged, solid, uh, accurate. Pick me out some points on what made you think that though? Did you see the, the bases of the machines? Did you go see them going through the, yeah. the machine shop, the castings? We saw pretty much the whole production. Uh, we saw the, the ways being scraped by hand. They're all metal to metal, box ways. There's no uh, tersite. It's, it's good, rugged, strong uh, construction. And you said they were quiet. They are pretty quiet here today as well. Yes. I know this one behind you is you're just in the process of setting another job. Since you've had them, have they maintained the kind of tolerances that you'd have expected them to have done? Yeah, we've had no issues uh, with how they performed over the last year. We, we can turn them on and there's barely 10 micron difference to first thing in the morning from the last thing at the night before. Two turrets on this, two yep. Y-axis as well? Yep, two Y-axis. Um, tell me about the turret on here, because there's a lot of numbers on there. Can you get more tools on here than... Yeah, than we've most? got half index on each turret, so we've got 24 potential stations per turret, two turrets, 48 tools. OK, and then your, your touchscreen control on here. I noticed this is one of the latest yeah. FANUP introductions, isn't it? How have you got to grips with that? The older FANUCs that we had on the previous lathes, uh, because we program with manual guide eye most of the time. This is very similar. Uh, they've added more features. There's more in the manual guide eye now, uh, such as thread milling, for instance. The other side of it, there's a lot more information at your fingertips, powers, speeds, uh, load ratings, etc. Can, can, th there's areas in this control, I believe, that have diagnostics, industry 4.0, which enable you to make sure you're, you're as efficient as you possibly can be with yeah. your machining. Have you seen those aspects? Uh, yeah, I, I know they're in there. The, all the maintenance side of it flags up, tells us when things need doing. Uh, we haven't really looked into the Industry 4.0, but I know these are already set, ready to go. Um, the power on the milling, Darren, this is a big factor because yeah. turning is one thing, but if you want to mill as well, how capable are they? Uh, brilliant. These are more powerful than uh, some small VMCs I've had. Uh, we do quite heavy machining and you barely know it's doing it. It's so quiet. Have you taken work off the milling machines and done, incorporated it into your cycles here because this is doing it faster? Uh, yeah, yeah. We, over time, the previous lathes, the live tooling was getting weaker and weaker and less reliable. So we started to have to take work off the live tooling of the lathes and put it onto the milling machines. With these, it's all come straight back and more because uh, in some instances we're doing the milling work quicker on the CMZs than we are on the uh, BMCs. Uh, some of your materials are pretty tough, pretty mm. hard. Handles it all right? Yeah, yeah, we predominantly do EN 24Ts, 19Ts, stainlesses, and yeah, there, there's no issues at all.